Oklahoma State is heading up to the blue turf to face off against Boise State. Boise, a three-and-a-half point favorite. Total of 57-and-a-half. Oklahoma State has not looked good, brother. Spencer Sanders might just not be very good at football. Let me let me get you to talk about this one first. What the hell happened to Mike Gundy? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, did I, I, Chuba Hubbard take his soul? No. Did, I, did all the shit that happened last year in the offseason just completely discombobulate him and make him so uncomfortable in his own skin? This was a guy that was more comfortable being who he was than anyone I've ever met. And the politics of our world has completely just just taken him balling. He's got no balls, man. Yeah. No. Well, I'll tell you this. I, I used think to he love missed... Oklahoma State football because they played with balls. Whether they won or whether they lost, they were going out there and they were firing on all cylinders. It was good that they had a cowboy and their name, you know, their little weird saying is guns up because that's what they did. They took shot after shot after shot. And now, it, it's not that they don't have talent. They look conservative, Gary. And I don't like that shit. That ain't, that ain't the Mike Gundy I know. I don't care about your politics, baby. I won't own the football field for you to let that shit fly. Through two games, L.D. Brown has 56 yards rushing. Spencer Sanders, the leading rusher, at 62 yards. And Jalen Warren has 46. Overall, everybody combined... They have got 190 yards rushing on 71 attempts. That's only 2.68 yards per carry. And they ain't good passing the ball either. Uh, Shane Ellingsworth has 315 yards passing. Spencer Sanders, 173. Uh, both of them have thrown a pick. Like, I... I, It's only two games. But their offense does not look good. The defense does look a lot better. Like, now that Jim Knowles is going in... Wait, I think he's in his fourth year? The former Duke defensive coordinator? That brings a lot of pressure, you know, runs a 3-4, all that kind of stuff. He, I just, my line on this was Boise minus two. I think I undersold Boise a little bit. Like, Boise hasn't been super impressive either, outside of, like, a, a crazy first half where they capitalized on some turnovers against UCF. I think I'm going to take Boise here. I think they're going to be fired up for this game. I do Is not it four like, and a half still? No, it's three and a half. Three and a half. I, look, I bet on Gundy two weeks in a row and I've lost. And I'm so disappointed. You know what? I'm I'm just a dumb son of a bitch, and I can't give the guy up. I'm going Gundy one more time because at some point in time he's going to take these guys out wet where he's comfortable. They're going to go out into the prairie and they're going to kick the shit out of somebody, and they're going to drop forty points this weekend. Okay, because if they don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't know who this person is that is leading this football team. What what kind of a world we never knew that we, we live in? <laughs> we never knew the names of the quarterbacks he had before until year two or three. It ain't like. He needs a special quarterback, okay? This guy is no different than Mike Leach or Matt Rolo, or Rick Rolovich, or, and all these other guys. They, they're no different, okay? Just just give me anybody that can throw the football. This is my scheme, and we are going to get guys open. We're going to find space, and we're going to hit them in stride, and that's going to be our run game as well, and we're going to put up points. We might not be able to stop anybody, but we're going to drop 40. You you might be on the right path here. Oklahoma State, their last four, 15 games as an underdog, 12 and 3 against the spread. So you might be on to something, but man, I, I will tell you, they, they haven't covered in two of the last three. And oh, it's scary as hell to bet them right now. You, look, yeah. I'm doing it just out of just out of principle, just out of just spite of I got to believe Gundy is just going to slap the shit out of somebody this weekend and say, I'm taking over. Give me the, give me the headset, give me the playbook. I'm taking over. Okay. Okay. I can get with it. So you are on Oklahoma State. I am on Boise. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.